Hello, my name is Youssef, and today I'm happy to share with you a great news. Databricks has announced the public preview of Unity Catalog with DLT. And for those who don't know what's DLT, DLT makes it easy to build and manage reliable batch and streaming data pipelines that deliver high the quality data on the Databricks Lakehouse platform. And DLT helps data engineering teams simplify ETL development and management with declarative uh, pipeline development. And on the other hand, Unity Catalog is our governance solution for all data and AI assets in the Lakehouse platform. It brings a lot of features like automated lineage for all your workloads. It also has centralized governance for your data and AI, built-in data search and, and discovery. And as I have mentioned, Databricks has announced this public uh, preview of DLT plus Unity Catalog. Of course, this is just a public preview, so you may encounter some limitations that I advise you to have a look at, but bear with me that those limitations will be removed once, of course, uh, this feature will be announced GA. But first, let's go and have a look at the workflow. So if you want to declare a DLT, you need to go to Delta Live Tables and then click on Create a Pipeline. So here you'll see that you can choose a pipeline name. So we can call it, for example, Football. And of course, you can bring your notebook. And here you can specify, of course, whether you want to use Hive Metastore or uh, Unity Catalog. Of course, once you choose Unity Catalog, you should have in advance created a catalog, and then you can define the schema where you want to push uh, your uh, your tables. For my for 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 my example, I already developed two Python scripts, uh, Python scripts and uh, SQL scripts. So for my case, I have a data set that includes all the scores uh, for I think the last. 15 years uh, in, for a specific leak. So here I'm just using uh, like the integration of autoloader with Delta Live tables. So I'm creating my bronze layer. So where I'm gonna bring this data uh, that I have stored over here, then I'm creating another uh, like table, like storing the games for 2010. And of course I'm declaring the schema. And then from this table, I'm doing a union to get all the all the scores, and then I'm doing some transformations to clean the data. And then I'm creating my gold layer where I compute, for example, to get all the large scores higher than uh, four, four goals, whether you're playing uh, home or away. Then, of course, I'm getting all the home wins per year and, of course, away wins per year to get to get this. So. Once everything is declared, if I go to my uh, to my workflow, Delta Live Tables Python, you will see that it, it has generated my my uh, my pipeline. So we see the bronze, like the game of two thousand, the game of two thousand and ten. I did had this game uh, game silver. I did create new columns, and then from this silver, I created multiple uh, multiple tables. And if I go, of course, to settings, you will see that I have created my catalog of football underscore Python, and then everything is stored in um, in this database. So if I go to data, I will look for uh, football Python. See, of course, I can still like uh, handle the permissions. So I can, for example, say, uh, only Matia and Yusuf can uh, have like all privi or the privileges, of course. If I go to games, then I will have the tables I have declared. So I have, of course, my game 2010. So I have the uh, my my specific schema. I can also get the lineage. Again, the same one I, I got there. So I can get like the lineage information, of course. I can also find from where the pipeline is coming. So it, tells, it shows me that the, that's the pipeline it's called. You know that with DLT, you can also access the metrics like generated by this, uh, this pipeline. So with this new version, we have things are much, much easier. So I did this example on, on Databricks SQL using SQL uh, serverless uh, warehouse. So if I go to SQL editor now, 
if I want to query the logs, I can do it, for example, in my uh, in the other uh, using the clusters. But for my case, I want to do it with DB SQL. So you have a new function called event log. You call called event log where we can add the DLT, uh, uh, the pipeline ID. And now that I have created this pipeline ID and I have created this table, I can, for example, go over here. I can get the lineage if I want. I can, for example, get uh, the runtime info. I can get like the, the audits of the pipeline, who did start it and who did create the pipeline. So you can get a lot of uh, a lot of details. I, I will I can also show you, like I would query this, uh, this table over here. And I will use a serverless SQL warehouse. And I'll guess my data. And of course, you can uh, then create dashboards over uh, this uh, specific uh, uh, metrics. So thank you for uh, attending this session. <laughs>